oldest PFW post in Texas. Hot damn! From the halls of mountains. Aren't you that guy that's been telling stories all over town? Yep. Want to hear a story about Mitchell Page? Okay. Have a seat. Let me break out my book. I'm Denise, by the way. Yeah, yeah, let me get to the story. Mitchell was born Mitchell Pejic in 1918 and was the son of Serbian immigrants. He grew up trying to learn all things that put hair on a chest, like how to start fires with sticks, or how to tie knots, or how to catch dinner in the wild. Once he had made Eagle Scout, he wasted no time graduating to bigger and better things, like becoming a United States Marine. Eventually, he found himself getting shipped off with the 7th Marines to an epic cluster f that was Guadalcanal in 1942. He was the platoon sergeant in command of a machine gun section on a very action-packed part of the island. The Marines had themselves a slight foothold, but hordes of relentless attacks by the Japanese got so bad that the Marines were actually given the go-ahead to surrender the island to them. If there's one thing to know about Marines, it's that surrender, it's not a thing they do. Page had a 33-man team, and at 2 a.m., one October night, he watched as a massive regiment of Japanese soldiers made their way toward them. They laid still, holding their fire as 2,500 fighters approached his 33 men. When the first wave of infantry was close enough that they could hear their canteens clicking along, they opened fire. Mitch and his men unleashed waves of hot lead on the surprised Japanese soldiers, building a wall of enemy body parts just in front of their position. The second wave charged ahead and plowed through the heavy fire, leaping into the Marines' fighting positions. They were now fighting hand-to-hand -hand as well as manning their guns. Page was slashed across the hand as he was busy thrusting his knife through throats and chests. Waves of the enemy continued toward him as he laid waste with his machine gun. It overheated, so he moved to the next gun, changing positions and tearing apart anything without a Marine uniform. After hours of mowing down wave after wave of enemies, he realized he was the only Marine left standing. He had been fighting alone and surrounded for who knows how long. It was time for a new strategy. He picked up one of the machine guns and mowed a path out of there. As he was running through the woods, he happened by chance upon another group of Marines. He shouted, fix bayonets and follow me. He did an about face with a new group of hard chargers who were fresh and ready to do some killing too. With just over a dozen Marines this time, Page led a full-on bayonet charge back to the original position to take on over 1,000 pissed off enemies. It was dark and the Marines caused enough of a ruckus to make the Japanese think they were being overrun. They eventually retreated just 10 hours after the first shot was fired and Mitchell Page had held his ground. For fighting off 2,500 enemies pretty much solo, Mitchell Page was awarded a well-earned Medal of Honor. He retired a colonel in 1959 and died at the ripe old age of 85 in 2003. Semper Fidelis to a true devil dog. Gee, thanks, mister. I'm gonna get back to work now. Give him hell!